All right, y'all. It's time for me to roll my mouth again. It is so cold. 41. I guess it's not as bad as it was last night. But a job I went on last night took me out to Yoda, Colorado. And I had no signal, no internet, no cell service. I couldn't submit my summons that I was trying to give out, which nobody answered. But... And I don't feel like I have a cold or anything, but I feel so run down. Like, as if I can't get enough sleep to, like, satiate the tired that I have, I guess. Um, and my kids are in school at the house. And, uh, I think I'm, like, overstressing about it. And this is, the only reason I'm talking about this is because I want to remember this when we see what happens later on, you know what I mean? Like, is school going to stay as virtual school, or is school going to go back to regular school, or like, when we see the day that we don't all have to wear masks out in public anymore, so I kind of just want to talk about it. Um, being a single parent, and uh, your kids being in virtual school is really hard and it's hard because you know you're trying to do a thousand other things and then on top of it like when your kids are at school they go and you know they're at school like you know that they're doing school work you might get a phone call or whatever about your kid not doing this or that but like you know they're doing school they're at school in virtual school it feels like I have to be on them to be sure they're in class. And while, like, you know, there are good things where, like, your teacher can text or whatever and say, hey, they're missing this or whatever, there's still situations where, like, you know, they might get out of class early because the teacher said they could get out early. And that's not something I would know because, you know, they're on a timeline. And I think it's great. Like, I don't think there should be some super rigid structure, but at the same time, it just stresses me out to not feel like I have not it not that it's not understanding but like it's just stressful right like I'm sure other parents can agree with me that it's just stressful and um for an example yesterday my youngest son told me he got off with, at like 9 30 and he said yeah I don't have to go back until one and I was like one o'clock are you sure because your paper says you have to go back at oh it was something where he went back at like 9 45 and then had another one in between that. I think it was 11. And uh, I'm like, I really don't think you're supposed to be off till 1. He's like, yeah, my teacher said. So a little bit before 11, um, I think, well, me and John actually both messaged the teacher. And she replied and said, no, he was supposed to be in class and he had to do makeup work. So now he's doing makeup work to fix the stuff that he thought from before. But apparently he was doing this at his other house and I'm not saying that like kids are going to be perfect because they're not they're going to be sneaky sometimes and it just is what it is but it's just hard to keep up with that when you're trying to figure out work and you're trying to figure out your second job and you're trying to figure out your business and you're trying to make a plan on what you're going to do so you don't keep spending $400 a year to have a website if it's not going to make anything of itself. So it's just all really stressful. And on top of it, I'm just run down. Like, I am just tired. And it's weird. But it just is what it is. And, like, we left last night after school immediately. Like, they immediately got dressed and we left after school was done. And we didn't get home until 11 o'clock at night to go do this round trip. And, um, you know, they were tired. I was tired. But we did get to try some new Thai food that was freaking delicious. I was so excited. But at the same time, all of it's still stressful. Um, I think I'm starting to understand that I have a really good support system if I just talk about things instead of holding it in. I am president okay of not telling people what's going on with me 
And I think that stems back from my childhood, you know, my dad and mom really didn't care. So it was just stuff I held to myself or like when I was having freak outs or panic attacks or, you know, anger issues, I never talked about it. Also, seeing a therapist at that time was like for bad kids, you know, like you need to go see a therapist because you have problems or things that you said to your kids. And so while I'm learning to open up, it's also still hard and it's emotionally draining. Like I never thought ever that it would be this emotionally draining just to talk about how I feel about things. And um, it's just a thing, I guess. But I'm learning to open up more about my emotions too, where like I'm not scared to cry anymore. And I tell my kids that it's okay to cry. Also, my eye keeps watering no matter how much makeup I put on or off. All I did was take my eye makeup off and my eye won't stop watering. Maybe I'm just naturally trying to cry. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just a weird time, I guess. And I know everybody's kind of feeling this way. And I really miss people interaction. I really, like, I try to interact with people as much as I humanly can. Um, you know, with masks on, but it's really just not the same. And, you know, I'm going to be able to tell my grandkids if I have any one day that, you know, look, like, this is a thing that happened when I was an adult and we all went through and here's the other side of it. But I want to have something to show people later on in life to be like, look, you know, this is how I was feeling and how crappy it was and blah, 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 blah. But instead of me trying to remember it, which I know that I won't. So yeah, pretty excited, I guess, just to have a video to look back on. But at the same time, the stress is kind of eating me alive. And I, all I want to do is it's weird because all I want to do is do a good job at everything and then it stresses me out so much and like gives me anxiety that like it paralyzes me and I don't want to be like that and I don't really know what I need to do to get over it or over it you know like what I can do to help myself but that's just a big problem I'm finding myself in so I don't know, I just thought I would share, see if maybe there's anybody's feedback on how they're feeling and how online school is going and how being trapped in your home and when you come out, you can't see people's faces and know how they're really interacting with you. You just see their eyes, which are, you know, you can be pretty suspicious because, you know, you don't know, you can move your eyes to look like you're saying a lot of things when you're not really, so... All right, I'm gonna go do some work or I'm gonna fall asleep in this car. <laughs> I hope everybody has a good day.